In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Google Bard, which is a Google made AI tool. Now this is made to compete with ChatGPT, and I'm going to show you some useful features that this AI tool has, because you can link your Google services and products with Bard.ai, and it can essentially give you loads of information in one space. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and go to Google Bard. Now to do that, just go ahead and search for Google Bard. So head over to Google, search Google Bard, and it should be the first one here, bard.google.com. So this is Google's new AI tool. Now, when you first open it, it's gonna give you a notification, which is going to tell you that it's a work in progress and that you need to accept the terms and conditions and that it may not always be correct. The more you give it feedback, the more it's going to understand. But right now, this is an, an experiment mode. So this is Google's AI experiment, basically. So you can see here, we've got some prompts. We've got the understand prompt, create and explore. And below them, we have more sub prompts that we can go ahead and click on. So let's just choose the bottom one here, type of diet. And it's going to give me an example of what we can say to Google Bard. Now, like ChatGPT, Google Bard has a prompt text box, right? So here, if we want to understand the keto diet better, we can get Google Bard to explain it in simple terms. Assuming I know nothing about the field, use simple and easy to use language. So let's go ahead and submit this and see what Google Bard says. Now, because this is an AI tool, it's going to give you a different response pretty much every time. And but right now we have a easy to digest overview about the keto diet, right? Now, maybe I want to ask it a follow up question. How many calories should I eat in a day? I am a male, five foot six, 160 pounds. And it's going to then reply based on the conversation. So it remembers things in the conversation. Okay, so that is the basic AI features that you're probably used to with chat GPT. What Google Bards also have, if you go to extensions in the top right, you can connect Bard with Google Flights, Google Hotels, Google Maps, Google Workspace and YouTube. And then you can use this connection to ask better questions and get information quicker. So let's say we can click here on pack accordingly and we'll just use Google Bards example here. So find flights to Miami for New Year's. What's the usual temperature then should i pack shorts now if we've got google flights connected it's going to then show us exact flights all on this page so you can see the google flights extension has been recognized and there we go it's going to tell us a round trip it's going to give us prices now i'm in thailand so my default currency is going to be thai baht so don't freak out there it's going to tell us different prices and different airlines it's going to say we can find more details here it's going to tell us the temperature and what we need to pack. It's also going to give us flights here that we can click on. And these will take us straight to that flight on Google Flights, which is actually so powerful. There we go. You can also upvote this if it's a good response, downvote it, share and export this and so on. So that's been a quick overview of Google Bard. Will it take over ChatGPT? Well, Google dominating everything. So I'm saying yes. Let me know what you think in the comment section below.